I'm not so interested in unboiling eggs. I like my eggs when they're hard boiled and I'm not interested in changing them to some other state. We've come up with a way of using mechanical energy to take proteins and return them to their native natural state. This discovery gives us access to proteins that otherwise are really difficult to deal with and difficult to produce. What my lab is going to be doing is applying this device to get proteins that are associated with cancer. So these are the proteins at the helm of the cancer cell that drives the cell and, and tells the cell, go cancerous, form tumors, spread around the body. These are evil proteins. We start with eggs from the local store, so our local grocery store. This is a great way to start a scientific experiment. These are dirt cheap compared to every other starting material for every other project going on in my laboratory. So we separate them into egg whites and egg yolks and then boil the egg whites at 90 degrees for 20 minutes. That's 90 degrees Celsius. We then take that egg white, dissolve it in a chemical called urea that untangles the chains and coats the strings of proteins and prevents them from getting re-entangled with each other. Step three is to take the proteins and stress them and, and pull them and uh, stretch them using this vortex fluid device that does this in the machine that rolls around the protein solution at a high speed. And then step four is to recover the protein and then test it out to verify that it has the natural activity that it should have if it's a functional, correctly folded protein. Conventional approaches to this require days to weeks. Using this Vortex fluid device to stretch and unstretch proteins takes minutes. There is a strong personal motivation that inspires me in this research. I want to do something about this terrible disease called cancer. This uh, impacts my life and it impacts the lives of everyone I know. On a personal level, my father died of cancer at a ridiculously young age. My lab is focused on detecting cancer and detecting cancer early. So this will make it easier for the patients, it will make it easier for the physicians to be successful, and it will cost less. Everyone wins.